Hi, I'm Kathleen Campbell, a staff research associate in the Urban Pest Lab at the University of California, Riverside. Well, the black widow spider is commonly found in people's homes and also in outlying structures. For example, garages, sheds, barns, storage facilities, places like that. The mature black widow is what most of you would recognize in your garage or your shed. It's uh, noticeably large in size. She has the red hourglass and also she has a shiny black color to her cuticle, the outside of her body. The immature black widow, you can't see it, but she has a red hourglass as well. She does not have her solid black shiny body yet. She still has some color patterns on her body that indicate she's still an immature individual, meaning she cannot reproduce yet. The black widow spider is not inherently dangerous just living in your garage or in your shed. It's when it can come into direct contact with you that it can become dangerous. For example, if a black widow spider happen to be crawling across your bed while you're sleeping and you roll over and crush it accidentally or attempt to crush it, the black widow spider, like anything, will attempt to defend itself and they defend themselves by biting. If I see a black widow at my house, if it's in the house, it gets escorted outside, usually in a glass or a jar or on the end of a broom. If it's outside, the garage, the shed, someplace like that, it stays where it is. Black widow spiders and all other spiders are nature's version of pest control. So having them around decreases the number of other bugs you don't like having around your home.